Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Cruiser and and today I'm kind of excited because today I have something to talk about and it's something of interest to me that is uh, kind of like the competition that is between manga and American comics uh, that we are uh, living right now. Uh, well, we are seeing it happen and <clears throat> Um, I am of the opinion that yeah, American comics needs to step up um, to be able to compete fully against manga. But most people will ask themselves like, how you, how you know when you are competing against manga, like how you can tell the well how you can improve your quality and your delivery in the pages um how to study or you know what to pay attention to you know what i mean so this is kind of like my opinion yet again uh i'm not a professional uh um <clears throat> Uh, let's say I, I'm I'm kind of I kind of like a homeless guy in the corner of the street, and I'm just pulling some tricks, you know. I'm just here to sparkle your imagination and shit, you know. So, okay, when I pick up a manga, what uh, I see like very different between. Uh, a manga and a co American comic is that the manga has more content yeah plus is very 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 organized if you see it the the infrastructure of the book itself it has the prologue it has the presentation of the characters and then has a list of the chapters. It's always 10 chapters for every volume. You guys already know that. Most of the people who really, really like manga, you guys already know that. And every manga has their way to organize their stuff, but it's kind of like a base, a really, really organized, clean way to, to put your ideas, your, 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 your chapters and concepts, and, and let's say, bring your reader into this new war that is uh your your comic your 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 comic books and stuff so you you present your characters uh you put a little bit of backstory uh, the prelude like what is about the the story that you want to tell a little bit of the presentation of the author like you have to put a little bit of yourself there too like a little a uh, little bit of information and uh, that's <clears throat> the, uh, at first this the, the the first steps and what I what I mean to to start study that uh, the comics has the same stuff kind of kind of uh, in every American comic book, yeah, there is like two or three pages where, it, yeah, it is a prelude and a credits, the credits for everybody on the team working on that book. And that's pretty obvious. That's, that's everybody been noticed that. So... So, with the American comic format of organization uh, in the comic itself, uh, it is similar to the manga, but uh, it is not kind of like entertaining. It's not uh, as visual as the mangas. The mangakas organize their, their 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 books, how they they lay out the pages, uh, because they they took the <clears throat> mangakas take uh, even 
the turning the pages as their advantage so you guys have to think like that like every page count in you in your print when you are going to print so you will have to kind of like see your book as um, I don't want to start talking stupid shit but how I see it is kind of like you playing the piano and you are trying to hit the right notes so you will have to think in the same way that every page that you are putting in your book is hitting the right note to your readers you know what I mean every panel uh, even the the onomatopoeias the sound effects of of the, the 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 panels and you know everything needs to be visual needs to be exaggerated needs to be elevated and <clears throat> mangakas know that really really well plus because they have a different type of education they they really really are in tune in in the arts uh, they have a lot of education in math philosophy so we are we are competing with with really big big nerds you know you know you know what i mean so it's like i'm just giving you ideas so we can start like you know having our own group like and we can start competing with with mangaka so we can start beating like korean nerds in, in comics, I'm talking about in comics, no physical violence in comics, but <laughs> I'm sorry, I'm sorry to my people in Korea, I love you, but <clears throat> that's the thing, uh, and that's the joy and the fun of comics in general, I see it like a, as a competition, and if you are obsessed as me, you will you will start paying attention to the most minimal shit in comics in in every style printing even i read um uh, books for kids just because i just want to analyze how the layout was done in the book because uh everything you can use it to reference it to 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 help you spark your imagination and help you to you know express yourself better and organize your ideas everything like that's uh, <clears throat> other thing that i'm saying like um, mangakas had better education yes but they have plus an education of kind of like cinematography so they have a better idea of composition and that's why they they when when they go full layout and they when they want to impress and they want to put big visuals it's always big it's always hitting because this is let's say uh the last steps for well that's the result of years of studying composition and uh, starting to understand the, the how uh, the, how to use visual language because <clears throat> that's what mangakas use a visual language to represent sometimes let's say philosophical aspects of the characters or events or feelings uh, at the same time they use the same tactics of visual effects for action and let's say uh, horror and other type of genres what I mean is like uh, let's pick one of the mangas the cool mangas right now One Punch Man um, when you see the panels and you see the continuity in every panel you feel that the the, the you you feel like you are watching a show because the the, the pages uh, like intertwine and you feel the characters came off of the page you feel the punches because the creator 
he's really really a master of his craft he already like a mass uh, he 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 i know he been a study a lot a lot for to get the style that he he has right now so what i mean is that when you are starting composition when you are studying a little bit of layouts uh, you start to understand where these mangakas came from ideas to the content of their books how they organize their books how everything in let's say when when the book is done will be you have to have kind of like the the imprint like the blueprints of your book on your mind like you have to have in your mind's eye you have your book and you are rereading it and you are editing first before everything is printed that's how these guys think and this is the other level and i'm 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 learning man i'm not a, a professional i'm just giving you my opinions and stuff uh, other stuff uh, uh, other thing is the style I know that a lot of you guys really really like to draw in a manga style the the kawaii stuff um, I like it too I, I'm not gonna lie man I like it too I like it too I like my waifus what do you mean man no I'm just kidding <laughs> just kidding <laughs> uh, but <clears throat> What I'm saying is, if we want to compete, really, really compete with manga, mangakas, we have to differentiate, differentiate ourselves from their style. So what I did was studying the manga style, how they draw stuff, how they ink stuff, and I studied the uh, American comic style of inking and. I practice a lot it took me a while to mix both styles like I, my style of drawing is a mix from uh, a oriental style with an Americanized style Western style and I mashed mash it together into a, cha a chaotic mess and th that that's practically my, my my style art and um, I'm not uh, the first one to do it. This is not a new idea. Uh, Jim Lee, Todd McFarlane, Rob Liefeld, and all the team, the, the original team of Image, and I don't know all the names, I'm sorry, uh, but those guys understood that. They, uh, more, more Todd McFarlane and Rob Liefeld and Jim Lee, they practically eat manga like crazy they not gonna they, they they never gonna say that they, they they will never they will never will admit to you that they they've been inspired for manga because but, but i know i know bro trust me like uh, what is my source trust me bro <laughs> but they they are the the kind of like the example like the if you execute the, the those types of ideas that they are kind of complicated and they're hard to pull off but i don't think that the every idea is dumb it's just uh, it matters about the execution more in art in, in this visual medium that is comic you have i just at least try try practice uh, <clears throat> practice drawing if you're not feel so sure about your style pivot practice a little more that's what I do if I feel insecure about my style and how I dry stuff I, I will just disappear uh, I will go back to study and I will just go to my, my peaceful place in my mind and I will just start training in my mojo dojo in my mind and 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 I will start hitting the fucking punching bag like <laughs> and that's how you deal with this situation you have to re uh, reanalyze 
what you want to accomplish with your comic what is kind of like the arcs and uh, and the plot that the, the you are working on how you will execute it in the printing page and the presentation and that's why these dudes in Korea are beating our asses because they they've been solving all these little problems this my new school like minimal problems that a, a lot of people will say oh, man, man, man who cares but actually they, they really matter and the pricing but you know like that depends if you what type of paper and we can talk about that in another video but yeah um, I'm just here to tell you that uh, tell me your opinions um, and please uh, this channel is not about political stuff I'm here just to talk about comics culture and just give you my opinions to hang around with you guys and sometimes I do some harsh jokes but it's not I, I, I don't mean any harm to anybody except the commies nah just kidding I'm just kidding but but see you guys in the next video drink water and and yeah whatever peace